Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from a start point to an end point. Calculating elapsed time is an important everyday skill. It's useful when cooking, taking a drive, catching a bus, or even watching a movie. In this video, we're going to use the T-chart method for calculating elapsed time. If you'd like to also learn the timeline method, see the link in the description below. We'll use the T-chart method to solve three problems. Number one, James knows it takes two hours and 45 minutes to drive from his house to the beach. If he leaves at 5.40 a.m., what time should he arrive at the beach? We'll start by drawing a T-chart. We know the start time, 5.40, and the elapsed time, two hours and 45 minutes. We're going to start at 5.40 and add on two hours and 45 minutes, but we're going to add it on in chunks, recording it all on the T-chart as we go. Let's start by adding the two hours. Record the time added here. 5.40 a.m. plus two hours is 7.40 a.m. Record the new time here. We've still got 45 minutes to add. Adding a chunk of 20 minutes will make things easier because it will take us to eight o'clock. Now, we still have 25 minutes left to add. Eight o'clock plus 25 minutes is 8.25 a.m. We've added a total of two hours and 45 minutes. James should arrive at 8.25 a.m. Number two. Molly's gymnastics class starts at 4.50 p.m. and finishes at 6.15 p.m. How long are her lessons? We've been given the start time, 4.50, and the end time, 6.15. We need to work out the elapsed time. This means we're going to have to keep adding chunks of time to 4.50 until we arrive at 6.15. Adding 10 minutes to start will make things easier because it will take 4.50 up to 5 o'clock. Then we can just add one hour to get to 6 o'clock. To get to 6.15, we just need to add a final 15 minutes. To calculate how much time has elapsed from 4.50 to 6.15, we just need to find the total of the time we've added. 10 minutes plus one hour plus 15 minutes equals one hour and 25 minutes. Molly's lessons go for one hour and 25 minutes. Number three, Evie crossed the finish line at 2.29 p.m. She completed the race in three hours and 10 minutes. What time did the race start? We've been given the finish time, 2.29, and the elapsed time, three hours and 10 minutes. We need to work backwards to find the start time. That means we'll be subtracting time rather than adding as we did in the first two problems. Let's start by subtracting two of the three hours. That takes us back to 12.29 p.m. Then we'll take away the final hour, which leaves us at 11.29 a.m. Now let's subtract 10 minutes, 11.19 a.m. We have taken away a total of three hours and 10 minutes. Evie's race began at 11.19 a.m. This is how you can use the T-chart strategy to solve problems involving elapsed time. If you'd like to learn or practice the timeline strategy, check out the link to our video in the description below. EasyTeaching.net